guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you this easy gorgeous rubber band hairstyles so if you guys want to see how i achieve these looks please continue watching guys my hair is already washed and moisturized i'm going to be using my raw tail comb my shine and jam my rubber bands some braiding hair and some scrunchies to achieve this look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear just a straight line exactly the way i'm doing all right so i'm just going to take the scrunchie and secure the rest of the hair in the back away and we're just going to work with the front today so the back is done sis you don't have to do anything else this is it so let's get into the style i'm just going to take my um rat tail comb and then i'm going to section a little piece of hair on the side exactly the way i'm doing just a little section and then i'm going to take my shine and jump making sure the line is really nice and crisp and straight or whatever and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away i'm going to be using this tz braid this is 48 inches you can use whatever braiding hair you have so i'm just going to take it out of the pack and section out a little piece exactly the way i'm doing and then i'm going to section that little piece into a smaller piece and a bigger piece and when i loop them around i have like a really nice traditional braid kind of situation going on so once i do that i'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to my natural hair and then i'm just going to braid that down very very simple very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this i mean we're just trying to spice this hair style because you know me baby i like to make sure we're going all the way to boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 100 why well, was still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Tis. So I want the braid to end like closer to my shoulders. So I'm going to braid past my shoulders a little bit and then I'm going to take a little piece from the braiding hair and then tie a little knot. So I'm going to be tying twice just so, you know, it does not unravel. It doesn't make me work twice because once I'm done, baby, I am done okay anyway so i'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side so i'm going to section out a little piece on the corner right there just a little section taking my shine and jump applying it to the section right there and then taking the braiding hair a bigger piece and a smaller piece looping them around and then just doing a traditional braid going all the way down sis i mean come on if you do not know how to braid i have a lot of tutorials on how you can actually braid by yourself okay so once you're done watching this tutorial you better go watch all the braiding tutorials that i have because i have a lot of techniques that you can use if you cannot do this technique that i'm just doing right here okay just gonna secure both braids under my chin that way you know they are not in the way as i'm doing the rest of the style all right so i'm going to take my right tail comb again and then i'm going to go on the tempo of my head exactly the way i'm doing section out a straight line going all the way to the back and then take my shine and jam making sure the line is really nice and straight or crisp or whatever and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away that way i only have that little section that i'm working with you know i gotta make sure i pull out my baby hairs because later on we're about to be cute sis okay so I'm going to section that into two boxes. So I'm just going to section the hair out and then take my shine and jump, applying it to the section, making sure it is really nice and clean, and then securing the rest of the hair away. Taking my shine and jump, making sure my scalp is really nice and juicy or whatever. <laughs> and then taking my rubber band and securing that box very very simple very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this so once i secure that box i'm just going to section the hair into two and give it a little tug but not way too tight that i'm about to give myself a headache it's going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then twist it all the way down and then once i do that i'm going to do the same exact thing that i did on the first box i'm going to take my shine and jump apply it to the second bar making sure my scalp is really nice and juicy or whatever sectioning the hair into two taking the hair from the first section to the second section and then using my rubber band to secure it not way too tight that i'm about to give myself a headache or you know even break my natural hair <laughs> So once I secure that box, I'm just going to section the hair into two and give it a little tug, take a little bit more of the shine and jump, apply it to the remaining of my natural hair, and then twist it all the way down. I'm going to take my bobby pin and secure the rest of the hair away. I'm going to go ahead and section 
out the second section okay so that's gonna be a little smaller than the first one so I'm going to section it out take my shine and jam apply it to the hair and then I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away this one is going to have three boxes so I'm going to section the box taking my shine and jam making sure the line is really nice and crisp or whatever and then I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away taking a little bit more of the shine and jam making sure my hair is really nice and sleek and then using my rubber band to secure it Once I secure the hair, I'm going to section the hair into two and then giving it a little tug, take a little bit more of the shine and jam and twist the hair all the way down. I'm trying to give you these cute styles that you can rock on a daily. You're about to be switching it up every week, period. I mean, people will be looking at you like, sis, what's up with you? You'll be like, have you watched Tupo One? Tupo One, okay? Make sure you go on YouTube, T-U-P-O number one. Subscribe to her channel hit that notification bell as well. That way you do not miss out on any of the uploads because that's how I get into these styles. Today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Let's get to 1 million subscribers because baby, at this point, it is up from here. But make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt because sharing is caring, sis. You don't want to be the only person knowing how to braid, know how to style, know how to do all these rubber band styles, and your bestie doesn't even know what sis pause the video right now make sure you share this video with your cousin okay so once i'm done with the last box i'm going to do the same exact thing taking the little hair that's remaining from the box and then using my bobby pin to secure it with the hair in the back i'm going to do the same thing on the top right there i'm going to section the hair taking my shine and jaw making sure the line is really nice and crisp or whatever <laughs> And then I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away, taking a little bit more of the shine and jam, making sure my hair is really nice and sleek and juicy, and then using my rubber band to secure it. So once I do that, I'm going to make sure, you know, I'm snug, but not way too tight that I'm giving myself a headache. <laughs> I'm going to section the hair into two and then giving it a little tug. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam, apply it to the natural hair, and then twist it all the way down. Two big boxes on the sides have two boxes. The middle big box has three boxes. The little boxes on my sides have three boxes all together. Taking a little bit more of the shine and jam, making sure my hair is really nice and sleek and juicy. Sectioning the hair into two, taking the hair from the second section to the third section, and then securing it with the rubber band. Not wait too tight sis i'm going to repeat that because listen i don't want anybody breaking their natural hair sis or walking around having a headache because you want to wear this style for a week or so the reason why I twist my hair all the way down is because my hair is really thick and it is really hard to just piggyback it from one section to the next. But if your hair is not as thick as mine, you can actually just piggyback it. You don't have to do the twisting part. And then I gotta make sure I use my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure my baby hairs are nice and laid using the brush that I got from where? Ah, oh, my son, you already know what it is right now. And then I'm going to take my styling strips and make sure everything is nice and laid and situated. I'm going to take my Hardy Silk Scarf and make sure everything is nice and laid and situated. I already have the info on this scarf right here. It is on our website. Make sure you check us out. Make sure you buy a scarf or two. We have a whole lot of scarves over there. So once I'm done, I'm going to make sure i'm adding beads to this time so i'm just going to show you guys like if you do not have a beater you can actually just use your hands to add the beads i gotta make sure the the tail of the braid is nice and twisted down or you know braided all the way down and then you're just going to take one bead at a time so i added 10 beads on both sides sis, okay and then i'm just going to take my rubber band and secure it and make sure i cut the excess of the braiding hair and that's about it <laughs> For the styling in the back, I'm going to be using this jumbo braid and this is in color number one. So I'm using three packs, sis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it out of the pack exactly the way I'm doing. And then it does come with a rubber band on it. So I'm just gonna take the little rubber band it comes with, place it on my little bun in the back right there. As you guys can see, I have not done anything to the hair in the back. So that was how it was. And then I'm just going to section it into two and then twist it all the way down. So just make sure you're doing a little nice tight twist. 
I'm going to take a little rubber band and secure the end that way it does not unravel. I'm going to twist two others on the side that way I can add them on when I'm done with the first one okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start going around making this into like a nice cute bun just making sure my natural hair is nice and hidden that way you know we are looking cute in these streets I'm just gonna take my bobby pins and start securing it so once I secure it I'll take the third one starting from the corner right there just place it on you want to make sure the ends are nice and tucked in and then use some bobby pins to secure <laughs> and baby when i tell you this rubber band hairstyle with the signature crown came all the way through yes sis, i am living for this rubber band hairstyle right about now look at the beads honey they are taking the style all the way to boom boom 100 let me know if you guys are feeling this let me know if you guys are going to be trying this let me know if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever because baby at this point i am feeling myself okay and you already know i cannot be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories so here we are i'm just gonna add this little gold accessories on the top right there and baby it took the style all the way to boom 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 one million <laughs> Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know in the comments below if you think this style right here is a banger. Because listen, I am feeling myself right about now. And I'm just like, yes, sis. Come all the way. What? The room. Anyway, you know I got to give you another option on how you can rock this style right here. So I'm just going to be using this hair piece. It does come with three combs in the front. One, two in the sides, and one in the middle right there. It does come with another comb in the back and a drawstring. That way, once you place it on, you are nice and secure. Just make sure I fluff it out or whatever. And then I'm going to place it on my head exactly the way I'm doing. Securing the middle comb first and then the two combs on the sides. And then I'm going to secure the one in the back and then use the drawstring to secure it very very simple very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this i mean we're just trying to spice this hairstyle up and baby when i tell you this hair piece came all the way through as well let me know if you guys are feeling it let me know if you guys are going to be trying this let me know in the comments below if you guys think this is a hot style or whatever because baby at this point i am feeling myself okay <laughs> My hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb, my shine and jam, my rubber bands, and my hair clips to achieve this look. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. And then once I'm done, I'm going to take my scrunchie and secure the rest of the hair in the back away. That way I can only work with the front, sis, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my rat tail comb, and then I'm going to start sectioning my hair. So just from the temple of my head, exactly the way I'm doing. And I'm just going to section that into a slanting line. Okay, so just exactly the way I'm doing. Take my shine and jam, apply it to the line, making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy. Okay. All right, so once I'm done sectioning that line, I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away. So I'm just going to section a little slanting line again. Take my shine and jam, apply it to the line, just to make sure it is really nice and clean. I'm just going to pull out my baby hairs in the front right there. That way, you know what? Once we're done we can be looking all the way cute sleek or whatever you want to call it okay and then i'm going to take my hair clip and secure the rest of the hair away so i'm going to section the first section okay the first box take my shine and jump apply it to the line making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy okay and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away using another hair clip and then i'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the hair making sure you know everything is really nice and sleek and then i'm going to take my rubber band and secure that first section so i'm going to be securing about four or five times until it is really nice and secure and then i'm going to section the hair into two give it a little tug not too tight that i'm about to give myself a headache or break my natural hair this take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then just twist it all the way down so the reason why i twist it all the way down is because i want my hair to be really nice and sleek because you you know your girl got 4c hair and once i do that i'm going to work with the next box so i'm just going to take my shine and jump apply it to the little section right there and then i'm going to section the hair into two taking the hair from the first section to the second section and then using my rubber band to secure it 
okay so i'm going to be securing about four or five times until it is really nice and secure very very simple very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this okay and then i'm going to section the hair into two give it a little tug so i'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jump apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then just twist it all the way down the second section i'm gonna do the same same exact technique going into a little bit of a slanting you know line as well okay take my shine and jam apply it to the line just to make sure it is really nice and clean and then i'm going to secure the rest of the hair away that way you know it is not in the way at all baby when i tell you 2023 the rubber band hairstyles are going to be taking over i'm going to section the first box apply my shine and jam making sure the line is really nice and clean and then i'm going to secure the hair out of the way with the hair clip and then i'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply to that little box right there making sure it is really nice and clean and sleek and then i'm going to use my rubber band to secure it i'm securing with the rubber band about four or five times until myself i feel it a little bit more snug okay not way too tight that i'm about to give myself a headache or break my natural hair assist. very very simple very very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this okay but while we're still talking sis have you subscribed to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what juicy yes today's shout out goes to each and every one of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for rocking with me thank you for all the love i cannot believe we are here today oh my gosh we are almost at 600,000 subscribers what thank you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart you guys already know you are the real mvps i am nothing without you but thank you thank you thank you so so much thank you so much for subscribing while you're subscribing right now thank you thank you so much make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell as well sis because you don't want to miss out on all this juiciness okay you want to be the first person to know when i drop another <laughs> juicy okay <laughs> anyway you already know when my voice is this hyper it means what the style is easy peasy lemon squeezy anybody even a beginner once you learn how to do these rubber band styles is over for everybody because listen you're just going to be looking cute every single day period <laughs> Let me show you guys how to achieve this little spice up situation that I'm about to do on the top right here. So I'm going to section that middle part into two and then I'm going to apply my shine and jam making sure the line is really nice and clean and juicy or whatever. And then I'm going to take my hair clip and secure one of the sections away, okay? start by sectioning one box at a time taking my shine and jam making sure the line is really clean okay nice and clean and juicy or whatever and then i'm going to take my hair clip and secure the rest of the hair away that way you know my hair is not in the way this is actually very very important because people are like supo how do you make sure the hair is not in the way sis just make sure you get yourself some hair clips and you know once you're working you are securing the hair away as you go take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to the remaining of my natural hair and then twist it all the way down i really want you guys to try these styles out and once you try them make sure you're tagging me on instagram listen once you take the pictures you know tag me on instagram i want to see how they come out i want to see if you guys are loving them but make sure you let me know in the comments if you have a youtube channel let me know so i can come and check it out i love when people recreate the styles that i do so make sure you let me know sis make sure you give me a shout out in your video so i can come and see when you tag me i am able to see the videos and then i can come and you know see what you did okay <laughs> So I'm going to section the second box and then I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam apply it to the hair making sure you know everything is really nice and sleek I'm just gonna take the hair from the first box going into a crisscross manner in a zigzag form exactly the way I'm doing and then using my rubber band to secure it And then I'm going to section the hair into two, giving it a little tug and then 
taking a little bit more of the shine and jam applying it to the natural hair and then twist it all the way down very very easy so i'm going to section the second box take my shine and jam section the hair into two taking the hair from the first section to the second section in a zigzag crisscross form and then using my rubber band to secure it oh my gosh how easy is that make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification bell as well make sure you share these videos with your cousins your besties your mama and your aunt says because sharing is caring okay i am having way too much fun because you already know when i'm this hyper it means what it means the style is easy peasy lemon squeeze even if you have never tried any of my styles this one right here this one sis and then i'm going to use my rubber band to secure it so until myself i feel it a little bit more snug okay not way too tight that i'm about to give myself a headache or break my natural hair so I'm going to start working with the other side so i'm going to do the same exact technique sectioning the hair so since the other side i have more hair the first section is going to have three boxes section the box take my shine and jam apply it to the hair making sure the rest of the hair is out of the way using a hair clip once i secure the hair with the rubber band i'm going to section the hair into two give it a little tug that way it is nice and snug and it looks really nice and clean that's the whole point sis okay so on this side sis i have five sections the first section has three boxes the second has three boxes the third section has three boxes the fourth section has two boxes and the last section has one okay so i'm gonna show you guys the last one how i did i did exactly the same way taking my shine and jam apply it to the hair making sure it is really nice and sleek taking my rubber band and securing it four or five times just making sure it is really nice and snug <laughs> And then sectioning the hair into two, giving it a little tug, and then twisting it all the way down. So don't worry about um, the remaining of the hair from the section sticking out. We are just going to corner that all the way down with the remaining of the hair in the back. So I'm just going to section out the hair exactly the way I'm doing. So don't worry about the corners in the back being messy. You don't even have to worry about those corners in the back. And I'll show you how because I'm not even worried about the lines. I'm just going to section exactly the way I'm doing. And then the last little section from the first boxes, I'm just going to take that and corner that down with the remaining of the hair in the back sis okay that's about it and then once i corner it all the way down i'm just gonna make sure i do the others as well don't worry about the sections being messy in the back sis just make sure you corner that down that's about it okay look at me i'm not even trying to make sure these corners are looking super clean sleek or whatever all right so i'm just gonna section the hair out and then i'm going to take the remaining of the hair from the last section i'm just going to corner that all the way down with the remaining of the hair in the back exactly the way i'm doing very very easy sis very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this oh my gosh how many times am i gonna say this because it's true sis i mean if you have never tried any of the styles make sure you try this one and if you do not know how to corner make sure you check out my video i have a tutorial on how you guys can learn how to corner it's easy okay and if you cannot really corner you can do boxes in the back I'm going to be using this Lulu Tress 3X Goddess Box Braids, and this is in color number one. It comes 24 in one pack, and I'm using three packs. So I'm going to be using my crochet needle, just a basic, basic crochet needle. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my coconut oil and Jamaican black castor oil mixture. I'm going to make sure I moisturize the hair in the back because I don't want to put any oil in the front yet because it's gonna be a little messy, okay? So I'm just gonna take the hair out of the pack exactly the way I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my crochet needle place it in open the hook take the crochet hair place it on the hook and pull it out so once i pull it out make sure you go into the loop again and then go all the way down to the corner of the crochet hair place it on the hook and then pull it out very very easy this technique right here it works on any crochet hair if the loop is big if it's small this one right here is a medium size so i do want to go in with my fingers and that takes time too so this is going to save you time money and everything okay make sure you master this technique technique right here because it is going to save you time sis okay anyway so i'm going to show you guys again place the crochet needle in open the hook take the crochet hair place it on the hook and pull it out go in the loop again and then go all the way to the corner of the crochet hair place it on the hook and then pull it out and once you do that it is nice and secure you don't have to do too much <laughs> 
going to show you guys again so you're going to place the crochet needle open the hook take your crochet here place it on the hook and then close it pull it out make sure you go into the loop again and then go all the way down to the corner of the crochet here place it on the hook and then pull it out so once you do that you don't have to put your fingers in oh my gosh this technique right here is very easy very beginner friendly anybody can actually do this but let me pause this video real quick for you make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new if this is your first time seeing me hey hello baby my name is Tupo okay I love to do hair tutorials natural hair you can actually do these tutorials with a relaxed hair as well but I'm gonna give you the goddess the looks the everything you yeah, know the braids the the rubber band hairstyles the abdus the crochets every single thing you're gonna find it on my channel so make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure I lay these baby hairs using the brush that I got from Amazon. You already know what it is by now. And then I'm going to take my styling strips and make sure everything is nice and laid and secured and everything. And you already know I'm going to be using this hottie silk scarf. Okay, you better make sure you check out our scarves. We have a whole lot of scarves. I will put the link in the description below. Make sure you support a sister. And baby, when I tell you this crochet rubber band hairstyle came all the way through. Sis, I am living for this style right here. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot summer hairstyle or whatever. Because, baby, at this point, I am feeling myself. I look good. I look good. I look like baby. be the accessorizing queen without adding some accessories so here we are i'm just gonna add this gold accessories here there on the braids and baby it took the style all the way to boom, 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 100 let me know if you guys are going to be trying this hairstyle right here let me know if this is a summer style okay let me know if this is a spring style and let me know if you guys are going to be wearing this style to your next occasion because i want you to and make sure you're tagging me on instagram two for one so i can see how you're looking girl if you are going to be recreating this look right here let me know let me know if you guys want me to do the whole head of this kind of crochet so i can show you how it looks because i love it i think i'm gonna try it okay let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that as well and you already know i gotta give you another style so i'm just gonna give you this little huff up kind of bond situation and baby it took the style all the way to boop 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 100 let me know if you guys think this is a hot style right here and let me know if you guys love this goddess box braids okay if you cannot braid by yourself sis you can actually do this anyway thank you guys so much for watching my videos thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for all the love make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye